Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping right back over here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this look. It's actually quite simple. It's a smoked out liner, no wing, bold eyelashes and a bold lip. I'm mostly going to be concentrating on the complexion today because this tutorial is targeting those of us that have been hit with this weather change. I know it has definitely affected me, but hey, with the power of makeup, we can look 100% even when we feel like we're at 10%. So if you would like to see how to achieve this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, why are we looking in the fridge right now? All right, I'll let you guys know. When you use a cold moisturizer, it's going to really help with puffiness, especially if you're gonna be putting that up close to your eyes. You want to make sure to prime to help your makeup staying power. Here I'm using the Baby Skin and Simpore Eraser. And then I'm going to be going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm using this shade NW25, which is more of my summer shade. But the orange in that is really going to help us counteract those eye bags. With this Coastal Scent Concealer Brush, I'm just going to be placing that underneath the eyes. And wherever else I need to conceal. And we're just going to blend that out with our Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Moving on to foundations, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundations. I'm in between shades, so I'm mixing 128 and 228. And I'll be taking about 1 4th dark and 3 4th light for the mixture. To blend all that into the skin, I'm going to be taking the Coastal Scent Flat Top buffer brush and you want to make sure that you blend that down to the neck just so that you can't see any harsh lines Using whatever is left over of the foundation, I'm just going to be applying this where I need a little extra coverage. For me, when I'm sick, it's my cheeks. They get so red. Now for highlighting, using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Sand, I'm going to be taking that in a upside down triangle on my cheekbones. I'm also going to bring it down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, cupid's bow, and chin. And I'm going to be blending that in with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge as well. To set the concealer, I'm going to be taking the beige highlight and the yellow highlight from the Lorac Pro Contour Kit. And I'm going to be using the brush that came with it. This brush actually really works well for setting my highlight because it gets right into the crooks and crownies very well. For the rest of my face, I'm going to be taking this MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder with the Powder Buffing Brush. And that's really going to help us with our contour later on. Taking Soft Peach from the Anastasia World Travel Palette, we're going to take that and set our eyelids. Dipping into the color Noir, we're going to be taking this angled liner brush and we're just going to place the color right along our lash line. Now with the color Bitten from Makeup Geek, we're going to use that to smoke out the black shadow. I had to switch brushes because that one just really wasn't giving me as much color payoff. And if you lose a little bit too much of the black, then you can just go right back in and touch it up. 
warm up my crease, I'm going to be dipping into MAC Sculpting Powder in Bone Beige with this fluffy brush. You just want to make sure that both sides are even and pigmented to your liking. Now going back into the Lorac Pro Contouring Palette, we're actually going to be taking the color Medium Contour and we're just going to deepen up our crease. Now we can go back in with Bone Beige to blend out the edges and make sure that everything is smooth and there are no harsh lines. And now using the Beige Highlight, we're actually going to use that to highlight our brow bone. Yeah, black eyeshadow, you do not belong there. Now dipping back into Noir, we're going to use the Angled Liner Brush and we're just going to place that right along our lower lash line. You want to bring that about three-fourths of the way in. Now with a clean smudger brush, we're going to dip into Morocco and we're just going to smoke out the lower lash line. Dipping back into Bit In with this tapered pencil brush, we're going to tie the whole look together. After patting some scotch tape on the back of your hand, you can use that to clean up your fallout. To prep my lashes for mascara, I like to pump the curler through a couple times through the whole length just to make sure that they don't stick straight up. And I am going in with the Maybelline Falsies Mascara in the waterproof version. If you happen to get any mascara on your face, don't worry, just let it sit there and at the end we can wipe it off. You can take a clean paper towel or a kid's zip also works very well. And then you just want to use that setting powder to make sure everything blends back together. Using the Makeup Geek Gel Liner in Immortal, we're going to tight line our eyes. This is really going to help our lashes look way fuller. To really open up our eyes, we're going to be going in with a white eyeliner. This one is from NYX. Here I'm using the Real Techniques setting brush just to hold the eyelid down gently. Now we're going to set that eyeliner using Soft Peach. This is really going to tone down the white and make it look a lot more natural. And it's also going to make it stay in place all day long. For an amazing inner curler highlight, we're going to be taking pink champagne. And this is really going to open up our eyes, make us look bright, awake, and alive. For some real drama, we're going to be adding falsies. These are in the double wispies. You want to add your glue. I like to make sure that there's a lot on the ends because those seem to lift a lot more than anything else. And you want to make sure that your glue gets nice and tacky. Yeah, it might take a while. You just want to make sure that you place those eyelashes as close to your natural ones as possible so that they blend very easily. And just to be perfectionist, we're going to dip into Noir with this angle liner and just cover up the lash band. On to bronzing, we're going to be taking the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. This is in the color medium to dark. This is really going to just make us look a little more warm and not so pale like ghosts. And this is also going to be a very important step because it helps with our contouring. It's more of a transition shade than anything. Now going into the medium contour, we're going to use this tapered blending face brush and we're really going to chisel out our cheeks. When adding the contour to your jawline, you want to make sure to blend it all the way down to your neck so that you don't have a dark line coming out of nowhere. To snatch thy nose, I'm going to be taking this dual fiber synthetic brush and the medium contour color. And you just want to make sure to keep this color kind of in but very well blended. 
This is going to make your nose look straighter and more narrow. On to highlighting, I'm going to be using this J.Cat's Baked Eye Shadow in Triple Crown. By wetting our brush, we're going to unleash the magical powers of this freaking eyeshadow. I'm only going to be taking the top two shades and we're going to strobe. I'm going to take that on the tops of the cheekbones. Yes, yes. <laughs> the tip of the nose, bridge of the nose, the tops of the eyebrows. We're going to tone it down a little bit. <laughs> and then we're going to go on our Cupid's bow. Nothing says healthy light highlighter. On to blush, we're going to be taking the Ulta Cheek Color in the color Afterglow. This does have a little bit of shimmer on it, but it does not pick up on the skin. And I'm only going to be placing that on the apples of my cheeks. On to eyebrows, one of my favorite parts. I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills The Brow Pomade in medium brown and their number 12 brush. You just want to go ahead and brush the hairs out into place and I'm personally just outlining the natural shape of my brows. I'm only going to make sure to fill in anywhere where I have sparse areas. I'm slowly going to work my way up and when I do get to the front, I'm not putting any additional product. I'm only fading it in. To see all that hard work in, we're going to be using their clear brow gel and just making sure that the hairs stay in place all day long. To get a really crisp effect, I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this flat liner brush and I'm just going to make sure to clean up any mistakes and this is really going to make the eyebrows pop. After placing that down, you can go ahead and blend it out with your fingers. Now we're going to shower in our Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and this is really going to keep our makeup on all day. Moving on to lips, I'm going to be taking the NYX Lip Liner in the color Cabernet and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the color Trust Issues. I'm going to be overlining today, but I am going to be starting with the Cupid's Bow and I'm going to follow the natural lip line. After that's done, you can work your way to making it just a little bolder. I'm mostly making sure that my lips look symmetrical. Now you can go ahead and fill in the rest of the lips with the liquid lipstick. And that is the completed look! Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video if it helped you learn anything new and share if you want your friends to be as sleeky as you. Please subscribe if you want to keep seeing more from me. Love you guys. See ya soon.